right you are welcome again today we are still treating complex numbers and under complex number let's treat the argument in complex number the argument in complex number now let's go we say that the positive angle between the complex numbers z equal to x plus i y and the positive real axis is called the amplitude or argument it is usually denoted by arc of z equal to theta arc of z is equal to theta okay good now in our diagram we have something like this you know we have our x we have our y we have our r and then we have our theta you know we know our z to be x plus i y here we don't know r and then we don't know our angle which is theta but we know x and then we know y so what are we going to use to find our theta so using so katoa when we say sine sine theta sine theta is going to give us opposite all over hypotenuse we don't know our hypotenuse if we say cos theta we're going to give us adjacent all over hypotenuse we don't know our hypotenuse but we can say tan theta so tan theta is going to give us opposite all over adjacent so we know our opposite to be y and then our adjacent to be x okay so we are going to make use of tan theta equal to y all over x hello but you remember that we are looking for theta that is the angle particularly so let's divide both side by tan okay so when we have tan theta divided by tan is equal to y all over x divided by tan okay so now when you perform this y all over x divided by tan when you perform this operation it's going to give you tan inverse of y all over x so that means we have theta is equal to tan inverse of y all over x hello so that means add of the complex number your arc of complex number is equal to theta and then theta is equal to tan inverse of y all over x you know in the complex number we have z equal to x plus i y and then the amplitude or the argument theta is going to give us tan inverse of y all over x now let's say for instance find the argument of the following complex numbers z1 equal to 3 plus 5i z2 equal to minus 4 plus 5i z3 equal to minus 2 minus 3i z4 equal to 2 square root of 3 minus 2i z5 equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3i z6 equal to 7 minus 5i please pay attention let's find the argument of the following complex numbers now z1 we have z1 to be 3 plus 5i arc of z1 equal to theta so and then we say that theta is equal to tan inverse of y all over x and then in this as z1 we have our y equal to 5 and then we have our x equal to 3 so we're going to have tan inverse of 5 all over 3 okay so theta is equal to when we say tan inverse of 5 all over 3 is going to give us 59.04 59.04 okay please one more thing anywhere maybe on a piece of paper draw your x and y axis and try to represent these uh, z1 on argon diagram and let's see so we have a diagram the x axis and the y axis so we have the point z1 equal to 3 plus 5i so we have our theta to be what 59 so we have the angle here all right good let's go z2 so we have z2 equal to minus 4 plus 5i so we're going to say arc of z2 equal to theta and then we have theta to be tan inverse of 5 all over minus 4 okay so when we say tan inverse of 5 all over minus 4 is going to give us minus 38.65 
minus 38.65 now let's show it on the diagram so when you draw the diagram when you want to represent it on the argon diagram we are going to look like this now you discover that in the diagram the angle that we got is giving us negative okay that means it is giving us a line like this and then when you look close you discover that the line or the angle that is giving us is opposite to the one we are having and then this line is directly opposite to our main line and then it makes an angle on a straight line so how can we locate or how can we get to our real angle then we can simply say minus 38.65 plus 180 we add 180 to it so we're going to give us our correct or accurate angle so we're going to have minus 38.65 plus 180 it's going to give us 141.34 all right let's go let's take number three we have z3 equal to minus two minus three i so we have arc of z3 equal to theta and then we have theta equal to tan inverse of minus 3 all over minus 2. So when we say tan inverse of minus 3 all over minus 2 is going to give us 56.31. So now let's also draw our diagram. When we draw our diagram, we're going to see clearly that the angle that we have just obtained is not corresponding with our diagram okay so this is the one we have and then it's also direct opposite to the one we have so what can we do to this we can simply add 180 to it so we're going to have 56.31 plus 180 so we're going to correspond to our real diagram okay so we're going to have 56.31 plus 180 is going to give us 236.31 all right yes now let's go z4 we have z4 to be 2 square root of 3 minus 2i. So we're going to have arg of z4 equal to theta. And then we have theta is equal to tan inverse of minus 2 all over 2 root 3. And then when we take the tan inverse of minus 2 all over 2 root 3, it's going to give us minus 30. And then this uh, minus 30 degree is negative. This is what it gave us, and this is what we are looking for. Okay, now what are we going to do? We can simply say minus 30 plus 360. So, minus 30 degrees plus 360 degrees is going to give us 330 degrees. All right, let's go. Z5. So, we have Z5 equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3i. So, we have arg of Z5 equal to theta, and then theta is equal to tan inverse of square root of 3 all over minus 1 equal to now when we take tan inverse of square root of 3 all over minus 1 it's going to give us minus 60 so on our diagram also is not corresponding it's giving us the negative okay so what can we do we can simply say minus 60 plus 180 degree okay so we have minus 60 plus 180 degree equal to 120 degrees so um, you can see that from this place to our main angle is equal to 120 degree all right now let's go we have z6 equal to 7 minus 5i and then we have arc of z6 equal to theta and theta is equal to tan inverse of minus 5 all over 7 then we'll say tan inverse of minus 5 all over 7 equal to minus 35.54 degrees now let's draw our diagram it's also giving us negative. So what can we do to this? We can simply say minus 35.54 degrees plus 360 degrees. So it's going to give us 324.64 degrees. All right. So you can see how it is. This is the real and the true corresponding argument. All right. Thank you very much. Let's continue.